morning guys welcome to today today is saturday i just want to double check you guys still okay with the daily vlogs or you want us to switch to making videos because we could do videos instead maybe five days a week up to you guys i love having our daily story i love the memories that's why we started youtube up to you though if you think we should make a change then let's do it but if not let's get on with the video all right we are headed out sam and i if you have been a long time follower on the day by day vlogs channel then you will know that sam and i always do saturday shopping whether it's yard sales in the summer or grocery shopping or to the tech store i've been to the tech store for the last three weeks on saturday and today i do not have to go to the tech store do i have to go to the tech store not in the plan so hopefully we don't have to go to the tax store knock on wood you guys will have already seen that i wrote chino i wrote chino this week it was so much fun loved it why would you not want to watch me riding a giant horse a giant horse that has a lot of forward movement a giant horse that is bumpy as heck a giant horse that you could die from like he is big he is bouncy he is awkward he's awkward to ride like he looks pretty when he moves but it's not pretty to ride sure sign summer's coming you guys they got the summer stuff out I'm trying to check out the bearded dragon supply stuff at walmart and just like i assumed there's zero nothing nothing for bearded dragons at walmart Okay, so somebody requested so if we do a room tour, it's kind of going to be a messy room tour. You guys might not know this, but Gabby is like me and is more of a neat person. You wouldn't be able to tell by the mess of our house because we have a lot going on a lot of the time, but especially when I was younger, I was neat all the time, even as a child. Well, I just Sophie, like, on the other hand, is like Sam, not a neat child. I just like a one little pass that I can walk through without hitting stuff. That is your dad, exactly! That is your dad. And this is her dog. <laughs> this is her dog, and this is where her dog thinks that she my lives. Dog, I couldn't find, when you, got, when you and dad were gone, um, I could not find my dog, and I came upstairs. Yeah, I left, and she was here. And she was just, like, sleeping. Yeah, and you know who else used to do that? Gabby. Cookie. She used to come upstairs and sleep in Sophie's room. Oh, yeah, she would, she would go to bed without me. Yeah, she would if, just go to bed. If I stood, stayed up till, like, 9 p.m., she... Cookie would go in bed. At 8 o'clock. Like, she has her own bedtime. Okay, so we're going to do the tour. And then we're going to introduce you to the bearded dragon. Here is the room tour. And remember... Oh, look at... You can put that part in. They're getting to be friends. Finally. She has a friend. Yeah, she, uh... She did that before. Nose to nose. So she starts looking. Uh oh. Her. Ruby, don't get too excited. All right. Room tour on three, two, one. So uh, Sophie's room is divided into three specific spots. Come on over here, show Sophie, and show them your. This is her living room area. Okay, so this is my living room. Um, it's a little messy because we're still setting stuff up for the cage, but yeah. Um, so this is where she can sit. My my couch. It's super super comfy. Um, I have my TV right there. I can also kind of see it from my bed. So underneath her TV is her Schleich oh. setup. She used to have her barn set up. But the new addition to the family has made us not be able to, made her not be able to set it up. So that's her, her big stuff there. And inside those buckets are all her Schleich stuff. Is that too much Schleich? So this is it. This is her living room area. We have a carpet. She's got this new little carpet. Um, we have my dresser. Right, and on top of her dresser. I have Briar, this is my favorite Briar on earth. A subscriber sent that to her, a nice lady named Mel. So then in the middle of her room, she has the pet area. So this is Ruby's bed. It has Daisy's dog toy on it because she's... Yeah, and Daisy sleeps here too often. Oh, so there's the dog bed, there's the bearded dragon cage, and then you go a little bit further. And here's my bed. 
And I have a cute little puppy on it that just ditched me. Yeah, so uh, this is where Daisy sleeps on top of this bed. Oh, she's Max. She thinks it's her bed. If you guys are just tuning in today for the very first time, then you should know that Sophie got this puppy for her birthday. And she's deaf. And she's deaf, and we thought she would. We bought a hearing dog. We contacted the breeder, and um, yeah, we ended up with a deaf dog. We had her tested at the vet. She had a hearing test, and she's definitely deaf. And so that's Sophie's bed, and then over here are all her fidget toys and some it's, of her slime. It's kind of a mess because I have so many fidget toys and I still want more. Yeah, so we need to figure out something to do with the fidget toys. Yeah, so I need like, we need to make the basement into a half of it a gym and half of it for my fidget toys. Yeah, and then so over here, Sophie's got her books. Is this the book that you're reading yeah. right now? She's halfway through this book. She got this book, The Unicorn Quest. Um, she has I one. also have this one. And she is going to read this one. These are the two books that she's going to read this term. This year, probably. She's a slower reader. She's got one of her Stacy Gregg books there. She's got this really cool light. Show them the light. Oh, it's super cool. Yeah, you turn it on. It's a horse and it changes colors. And one. I, I got that for Secret Santa. And um, I like saw it on an ad the day before and I was about to tell my mom that's like, a sign you guys that's how God talks to you he gives you signs he's yes. good girl alright so that is basically the room tour I'm going to show it to you guys again from this angle The only thing that we have left that we want to do is we want to hang up some stuff. Sophie wants to, to change her ribbons, which are a mess right now and too close to this light source for my liking. She wants to change them, put them over on that wall, and we're going to be doing that. And then she wants to, I'm going to print, make some canvas of her and Finn, pictures of her and Finn, and we're going to hang them up on this wall here. Um, it's going to look super pretty. We want to incorporate her horse in here somewhere besides just the ribbons. But yeah, so... Here we have my bearded dragon. So, Sylvie wants to introduce you guys to her bearded dragon. We showed you guys the, the setup that we had for her the other day. The only thing that we've had to change is that we ended up having to add a piece of wood in there because even with all the lighting system that we have, it's still not warm enough up there. You know how I know? We have these little thermometers in there that are not super accurate, even though they are actually accurate compared to our um, to our digital. If you see those wires, I'm going to end up taking those out because I, they're not really safe for her. Um, but those wires lead us to a digital thermometer that is more accurate. I'm still not super comfortable. The heat of her tank is so super important. Like if you don't get it right, you, your bearded dragon can oh. die. So we ended up getting this gun. Sam actually had it already. It's so super cool. You just point it where you want it. Let's see if you guys can see it here. So do you see the little light there, the red light, wherever I move it? Oh, I see it now. Do you guys see it? So I'm going to put it right there. So this is where our bearded dragon sleeps, or this is where she basks. See where the red light is? Um, this light that I have is the highest one I can get. It's a 160. So you would think right underneath that light, it would be 160 degrees, but it is not. Anyways, um, I also got a ceramic heater, so it makes it even more warm. You guys are going to, Sophie's going to introduce you to her. She was just sitting out here perfectly, and then she just hid. She's right in there. She doesn't normally hide. She is still really shy of us. And this is her. What's her name? Trixie. This is Trixie. Should have videoed her when we first walked into the room because she was just sitting right out here looking at Ruby. I'll put a clip of that in right now. Her and Ruby met for the very first time. Daisy kind of doesn't understand that she's here yet. What Sophie's room looks like all the time. Always. One puppy there. She thinks this one, one is puppy hers. there. This bed, we've had this bed for a couple of, for a few years now and Ruby loves this bed. She sleeps here every single night and it's held up really well. We got it from Wayfair. Daisy, of course, is way too good for a dog bed. Way, way too good. She always has to have the softest, best spot in the house. She can only sleep in a cage or else she'll poop in my room. Because she gets really mad. She has to sleep in her cage. This she, is too big of an area for her. She yeah, has to sleep she in her definitely cage. does like her crate and she does go there at night. She sleeps in here with Sophie until, da until Sam goes to bed and then he puts um, the puppies in their bed. 
Ruby stays out all night. So uh, we are not holding her a lot right now. We hold her once a day because she's acclimatizing to her setup here. She seems to really like it. She moves around. She travels the whole entire place. Um, we're going to make another video if you guys are interested in how we feed her because it is a big, huge protection for any of you guys who are not familiar with bearded dragons. Rocket science, way worse than horses. Like, this much difference between horses and bearded dragons. It's, it's absolutely, horrifically insane from the feeding to the to all of it. You make one mistake, one tiny, tiny mistake that you don't even know that you're making and yeah, they die. So yeah craziness but anyway we will show you guys her more we're giving her a few days to acclimatize to our whole environment here and and before we really start to handle her so Sophie holds her once a day while we clean the tank and get everything all set up uh, for about 15 minutes and she's doing really well she's friendly she seems really happy she's adjusting really well all things considered like she, I, we hardly ever see her hiding I don't know why she's hiding now she usually is right out there she was on top of that thing. yeah it's possible that she's hot because we have so much going on in the heat department. So anyway, that is it. What do you think of your room, Sophie? Do you like it? I like this spot the most. Do you? This is your favorite spot? It's like, that's so pretty. Yeah. And then that's pretty. We wanted to make it as much like a natural environment as possible for her. I want Sophie to paint the, the sides of this and black. And I'd hate the feeling of it. She likes light and bright and airy, but I feel like our, for our bearded dragon, she would like it a little bit darker so she's not looking out, I also like seeing her reflection in three sides. Like, when there's like plants over there, it looks too crowded. And yeah, too so we didn't put any plants over here because we didn't want any fires, you know, fires. A lot of you guys said buy her a bigger water tank and so she can lay in it. She can fit in the food thing. If I put water in there, she can actually fit perfectly inside there. She's That's five she's months lazy. old. And um, the reason I didn't go with a, a bigger water bowl is one, it's COVID and we can't hardly find anything. I can't find nice ones on, on anywhere. Um, once the store is open, I am gonna look again though. But the reason that I didn't, we didn't get that, go for that is because humidity can be a big, huge issue. If your bearded dragons have, if your bearded dragons there she is thing is too humid it can cause lung problems and stuff so i wanted to see what the humidity would be like our humidity is low as heck so i have added extra water i've been spraying her food down and stuff and um hopefully and so we could actually handle a little bit more water so i am looking for that all right there she is you guys she came out to see you she came out if you guys can see, she's got a little bit of a, her skin turns a little bit black when she gets stressed out. You can kind of see that she has a little bit of blackness on her. Hi, Tracy. She, she likes me the most right now. I'm What's her name? Trixie. Her name is Trixie. She really likes this wood that we put in. She loves it. There she is. That's her. Uh, last thing about the bearded dragon for today. If you're wondering what uh, sh what kind she is, she's a het hypo trans. And this is what she looked like when we picked her. She's from a breeder. The mares are waiting for us. It's a glorious day, you guys. There's a puppy in the arena. And there's a puppy in the arena. Oh, heaven help us. So uh, today, you guys, we are trying a new product. It's called Hoof Doctor. This is for our mares. Protects between trims, helps heal most hoof problems. It re can help recover from queer cracks, can heal hoof abscesses, can fight thrush, which is, uh, Penny had a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of thrush the other day when the farrier was here, so that's why I wanted that stuff. And you guys know we tried something different for Chino and Storm at the other barn to hold their shoes, help hold their shoes, and I want this year to be about trying different products. So uh, you use this stuff on the whole hoof, including the frog and the sole. My friend sells it, and her name is Erin Hill, E-R-I-N-H-I-L-L, -L, if you guys want 10% off. And it's stackable. So if you order three, then you receive almost 25% off. So if you guys want to buy some and try it, 
Use code Aaron Hill. Aaron, E-R-I-N-H-I-L-L. -L. Thing that appeals to me about this one, since it's got a really nice brush, I hate the other ones. They're so awkward. Yeah, I think you can Yeah, see you it just put it in. Yeah, and I like this one too because you don't have to be really careful of the frog. It goes on the frog as well. Hoof Doctor, and it has a cool name. So he's been bringing the puppy down at least once a day. Like, when we bring, this is gonna kill me. This is annoying me so much. Every single day I walk into this barn, these are on the ground. Every single day. Every day. Do you know why? Cats. The cats. It's the cats. But anyway, we only have today and tomorrow to work with our mares. And I still have to get Penny to do the cheek hold. Really cold the last couple of days. So Sam's been making our uh, kitty cave. Sam's been making our kitty cave extra warm. It's warm in there. Oh yeah, it's actually warm in there. Can't I be that warm? Yeah, that's nice. What do you mean? Your room is like a sauna suddenly. Isn't yeah, that cute but it is though. Cold though. This also is an electric blanket, but it's not plugged in. Literally just set my gloves down, and now my hands are freezing. Please, Laura. Please, God, help me find my gloves. I will not make it without my gloves. Ah! What happened? So many of you guys are like, don't give her treats at the door because she just fights the ponies. So yeah, I'm definitely not gonna do that anymore. All right, where are my gloves? All right, we have five minutes because it's so cold. Her eyes are definitely getting better again. Uh-oh, hold on. She doesn't like dogs that much, I feel like. Okay, hi ponies. So we're gonna just finish today's video off. And then we're having ch chicken wings, yummy, yummy chicken wings, Gabby's favorite. And we're gonna like relax and have so much fun. Soon we're gonna give Sophie's bearded dragon a bath and we're gonna try and video that. Let me know in the comments below if you guys wanna see like a, a day in the life of Sophie's bearded dragon in a few days when she's used to us and yeah, because there's so much more to bearded dragons I ever knew and maybe some of you guys are interested. All right, so Operation Cheek Hold, here we go. I think I can do a one-handed too now. I can do a one-handed. Yeah, that's good. It then, Gabby. Let's see it. No Here, I have a whole pocket full. Right. I can do the cheek hold with one hand. No, I want it on my horse. You show me on my horse. No. No, I need help with no. her. Mine? I didn't teach oh. mine anything. She already knew it. Mine is really resistant oh. to the cheek mine hold. Already knew it. So Willow's learning it. Uh, our our strong mares don't like it. I'm the kind of person that's like boring at the party. I hang out with all the parents. Aww. The parents are more fun than the kids. Oh, I love that. Own it, sister. Every single event hangs out with all the parents while they gossip about things. Yeah, but all There's the all the barn girls do that. It, oh, Gabby. <laughs> all right. I feel really bad, like that. All of my work with Penny right now is just all cheek hold, and it's like stressing her out. Let's see. Go backwards. Back. Back, back, back. Good girl. She's teaching you who's the boss. Mm -hmm. Good girl. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank God. Okay, do it because I'm like worried I'm gonna drop behind in the class. I feel like crying. Oh, I already am dropping behind in the class because we look bitey. No. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, do it a couple more times and then I'm gonna come and do it. All right, so after this, I'm gonna, after a couple more tries. It's just that she doesn't know what I want and she doesn't like it, so she. Good girl, yes. Yes, my horse is doing it. My horse is doing it. It sucks that I wasn't the one to teach her, but you know what? I want to cry, you guys. Like this is okay. T video me. Okay, other side. 
Yes. You know, this was going to be a problem for me because she's a dominant mare and she's not used to being told what to do. She recognizes Gabby as a boss. Yes. Okay, show me where you're holding. steps like a bunch of steps at different times so I'm gonna be able to work on this again tomorrow I'm grateful to have Gabby Gabby actually has helped me like look at Gabby has her she just listens to Gabby every time I look behind me good girl like behind me. yes good girl good girl yes we'll work on it tomorrow more we left her at Gabby <laughs> Like that is not my strong suit. I'm sorry. I don't want her to not want me to touch your face. Like, oh. So that is specifically, your hands are meant to work as a halter in this class. So if you can't get the cheek cold, like I should be able to take her out to a beach with no, no other thing and just oh, take her bad. around. <laughs> like it's gonna be scary. But anyway, that's it. My battery's dying. It was fun. I'll be down here tomorrow. I'll be practicing again. Everybody's got the cheek hold but me. Don't you know that you're beautiful?